fashion. People have different attitudes to fashion, which means that everyone has a different style and different taste. Some people don't care what they wear, and they aren't interested in fashion at all. Some are even slovenly or careless in dressing. They may simply wear what they feel comfortable in, usually casual clothes. Others are very choosy, and they care a lot about themselves. They spend a lot of money, a fortune, often on brand name clothing. Some people have excellent taste in dressing, and are always trendy, very fashionable, and stylish, chic, and attractive. They want to be dressed according to the latest fashion. They follow new styles and trends through fashion magazines or fashion shows on TV. Fashion is created by professionals called fashion designers, who invent new styles and patterns. Famous fashion designers include Giorgio Armani, Calvin Klein, Gianni Versace, Dolce and Gabbana. Where can we get clothes? We can buy ready-made clothes in a clothing shop, a boutique, an open market, or online. At second-hand shops. A tailor or a dressmaker can make it for us. Accessories. Shoes, a watch, earrings, a ring, a bracelet or a necklace, bangles. A handbag, glasses, gloves, a belt, a baseball cap, a scarf. A hat, a cap, trainers, British, sneakers, American. 
Braces, British. Suspenders, American. A bow tie. A tie. Factors that influence what we wear. Season or time of year. Social status. Mood. Age. Occasion. Or taste. Our clothes can be made from various kinds of materials, such as cotton, wool, linen, silk, velvet, genuine leather. Denim polyester, net, suede. Generally, many people usually look for washable, non-iron, color-fast, crease-resistant, and shrink-resistant fabric and materials. Patterns. There are different kinds of patterns. I like wearing neutral colors such as black, cream, olive green, white, and dark blue because they are versatile. I don't like strong or bright colors. A checkered shirt. A floral shirt, a colored shirt, a dotted or spotted shirt, a striped shirt, a plain shirt. Question time. Part 1. Describe different attitudes towards fashion. What is a fashion designer? Name some world-famous fashion designers. Where can we get clothes? Which accessories do you wear to school, to a party, to a wedding? Name some factors that influence what we wear. What fabrics do you usually wear in summer or winter? What are your most or least favorite clothing patterns? Why? Bonus question. What are the latest trends in clothing amongst youth. Summer clothes. In the summer, we prefer light and airy summer clothes such as a shirt with short sleeves, a loose blouse with a low neckline without sleeves, Bermuda shorts, 
an airy t-shirt and denim shorts. Today, cotton t-shirts decorated with labels, embroidery, or printing graphics enjoy the greatest popularity. On our feet, we put on sandals and sneakers or trainers. Flip-flops have become the biggest fashion trend. When we go swimming, we wear a swimming costume, a bikini, one piece or two piece, and trunks for men. Sometimes we take a straw hat if it is the rainy season on our feet, we put on rubber boots or wellingtons. Winter clothes. In winter, we need to wear something warm, so warmer materials such as cotton and wool are preferred. We put on more layers. We usually wear a t-shirt with long sleeves, suits, trousers, jeans, a denim skirt, warm tights, cardigans, pullovers, a polo neck, sweaters, an anorak and parka, a winter coat or overcoat, a jacket, a fur coat, gloves or mittens, a woolly cap, a hat, a scarf, winter shoes, and boots, of course. Trousers, gloves, a woolly cap, winter shoes, a winter jacket, jeans, a cardigan, a scarf. Clothes for special occasions. Formal situations such as public parties, balls, concerts, theater performances, require formal, smart, and proper clothes. Ladies wear an evening dress, jewelry, a handbag, pumps, an evening gown or ball, Men's wear, a dark suit, a light shirt, a tie, dark leather shoes, a tuxedo. Sports wear, a t-shirt, shorts, sport shoes, a tracksuit, a sport set. Casual wear. 
We like to feel comfortable, and so often prefer casual clothes. Baggy or loose jeans, a tracksuit, shorts, slippers. For cleaning, in the garden or workshop, we must put on an apron or dungarees or overalls, not to get dirty. Question time, part two. What clothes and accessories do people wear in the summer? What clothes and accessories do people wear in the winter? What clothes and accessories do people wear on special occasions? Describe a casual outfit or a sports outfit. What clothes do we usually wear when we clean the house and work in the garden or garage? What fabrics do you usually wear in the summer or winter? What are your most or least favorite clothing patterns? Why? Bonus question. What do you think fashion reflects? Uniforms. Special kinds of clothes are uniforms. They are worn by the police, health workers, firefighters, soldiers. Waiters or waitresses shop assistants, flight attendants, cooks. Good points or pros about wearing uniforms. They save your money because they are cheaper than trendy clothing. They hide financial differences between families. They save your time, especially in the morning when you need to get dressed for school. Important! One of the main reasons for wearing uniforms is to hide social and financial differences amongst children. Bad points or cons about wearing uniforms. Wearing compulsory uniforms limits students' freedom. Not enough freedom in dressing. Uniforms can be less comfortable than students' clothing. Uniforms may be impractical. You can't express your personality and style. Clothes make the man. There is an old saying, clothes make the man. This saying makes sense because clothes can reveal people's origin, religion, financial situation, status in society, and attitude towards fashion. For example, some Islamic women may wear veils to cover their faces or bodies. These clothes can be an expression of religion, faith, or custom.
Verbs relating to clothes. To get dressed or put on a shirt. To wear a blue suit. To put on trainers. To take off trainers. To try on a blouse. To change into a striped dress. To take off a sweater. Fastening. To do up your coat. Undo your coat. It's warm. Unzip your jacket. Button up your shirt. To zip up the anorak. To lace your boots. To fit. These trousers don't fit you. They're too loose. You should go for a small or an S. These trousers fit you perfectly. Take them. To suit. This outfit doesn't suit you. It's too dark and dull. Sorry. Wow, this is much better. This brown silk blouse is top. It suits you. In a clothing shop. I like it. It's nice or lovely. I'll take it or them. When you decide to buy something in a shop, I'll leave it or them. Thanks. If you decide not to buy something, the jacket is too long. It is too big or too short. These trousers are very tight. The t shirt is too loose. The shirt doesn't fit. It's the wrong size. What size are you? What size do you take? I'm a size 40. I take size 40. S or small? M or medium? L or large? XL or extra large? I like wearing a versatile jacket. I can wear it on different occasions. I need to get or buy a new outfit for my brother's wedding. Question time, part three. What jobs require uniforms? Name some good and some bad points about wearing uniforms. Explain the old saying, clothes make the man. What's the difference between the words fit and suit? Use both words in a sentence. Bonus question. Describe your clothing style and your attitude towards the latest fashion trends. Express your opinion on wearing uniforms in Slovak schools.